Assalamualaikum. Hello, dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are well by the grace of Allah. But I think also you will see, sir, we are not so fine because we can't go to school. We can meet our friends. We can play in the playground. We can enjoy our favorite classes. So, sir, really we are not so fine. Certainly. I agree with you. But the students can to make this time enjoyable? Of course we can. So, your teacher, I have become present today. So, let's say, English we love. English we learn. So, let's go. The students today, English for today is our subject. So, we will think about a picture. I presented a picture here. So, what on the picture? Yes. From this picture, try to name at least five things that you can see. I think you will say, these are people, this is a train, this is a building. Okay, you are right. I agree. But the students, I can give you some specific information about the picture. So before describing the picture, I will discuss explain some word related to this image first word what is this this is platform now let me say platform is a place is a high raised place this is not car this is not slow, but this is steep. This is level surface. The students saw this is platform. Now this place on this platform, passenger, passenger is stay wait for train and the get off the train and get off the train. Okay. Next one. Next word, passenger. There is a question, there is a question arise in your mind. What is passenger? First of all, I ask you, what's your job? What do you do? You will say, I'm a student. That means you study, you are a student. I teach you, I am a teacher. So the people who are in a uh, uh, but in a car, in a bus, in a train, and going, uh, going someone from some place, going to some place, somewhere. Suppose you are going to Dhaka now. You are in a bus. You are in, in a in a train. So you are a passenger. But the the person who drives, driver. The person who collect money and checks your tickets he is called conductor that means you are passenger okay now got the point the students next word uh, compartment very uh, important word about this picture compartment you have seen a long tree there are seven separate section and in this section these sections are called bogey Coach, courage, carriage. Okay. Now in this bogey, you will see some small room, like a small room, separate areas. So these are called compartment. Got the point? Another word, you are 
familiar with this? What? Baggage. Luggage. This is a luggage, 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 baggage. You can ask me what is what is baggage? This is very simple. Bag luggage is just baggage. Luggage baggage, what is this? Actually, these are bags or cases that contains people's passengers, yours, clothes and other things. So dear students, now last word of this picture. You see a man is going is going with something taking out his hat. This is Potter. What is Potter? This is very common figure at a railway station. You see at a railway station, a airport, a hotel. This is very common figure. These students. This person carries your luggage. Instead of in exchange of you have to pay some money. So this this is Potter. Now I will ask you two questions. Number one, what place is this? Yes, you have got the idea. This is a, a railway station. Now another question. Why do you go there? Very simple and easy concept. We go there because there are trains and these types of station stop there are different types of vehicles are available and easily pass passengers can get any any vehicle as they want okay now now perhaps in the meantime you have guessed the lesson title Okay, now our lesson title is at a railway station. English, look here, English for today, lesson 3 at a railway station. The students, now I will give you five important word meaning related to this text. Look here and write down the word. Okay, number one, Q. Q means line. I've made a sentence for you. Of course, you will try at your home. So, Q. Q means line. We usually join a Q for a ticket. Couple. Two people or two things. They make a beautiful couple. Stall means a small shop. Mina has a flower stall at the market. Leave to go away from a person or a place. The train leaves for Dhaka at 8 a.m. Last word. Whistle to make a high sound or a music tune. The referee whistle for a foul. Okay, dear students, write down this word meaning and sentences in your exercise books. Now, I'm going to next stage. Look at the page. <coughs> Look at the page 7 in your English for today book. The students, after completing this lesson, students will be able to talk about people, places and familiar objects in short and simple sentences, read and understand text. A. Section A. Read the following passage. I'm read, reading out. My friend Sajjad and I were sitting 
at the railway station. Two people here. My friend, Sajjad and I. The speaker of this text, the narrator of this text, the teller of this text, the text teller is I. So, I says, my friends Shajjad and I were sitting at the railway station. Where? That railway station. I came to see him off because Shajjad was going to Dhaka. Where? Where? To his elder sister's house. Very easy, easy sentence. It was very crowded in the station. This is a very common feature. Crowded. What is crowded? Crowded means having a lot of people, things. Whenever you will go to any station, you will see a lot of people gathered. So, my dear students, it was very crowded in this station. There was a long line of people at the ticket counter, in front of the ticket counter. A woman was standing in the queue. Woman was standing in the queue. She was holding her child's hand tightly. He was holding. What is holding? Holding means just look. This is my. This is my left hand. This is right hand. Now, if I do so, this is this is called holding. So, dear students, she was holding her child's. And how how tightly tightly means firmly closely not like my dear students a group of young people was talking a group of young people some people was talking loudly how was talking loudly like you uh, we see in your class you speak you make a noise and the ca captain of your class want to control yours you and your teacher shout, stop, stop, keep silent, so don't do so. The student and drinking tea in front of a tea stall. Tea stall. A stall means a small shop. Like book stall, tea stall. So, an old couple was trying to find a quiet place. Old couple, couple, two people. Perhaps, maybe like your grandma or grandpa was taking uh, was trying to find a quiet place to sit down and rest the waiting room was crowded too i saw one man who was trying to carry three heavy suitcase heavy suitcase a young lady was sitting on a bench with a luggage at one corner she was reading a magazine. The students, my friend and I stood. The speaker says, my friend and I stood near a newspaper stall talking and watching the crowd around. Soon my friend's train started to leave. As the train whistled, he picked up his suitcase and we said goodbye to each other. The students, I hope you have understand the sense of this text clearly. Now I am skipping, uh, skipping section 1 and continue section 2. Look here, there is an exercise for you. Match a word from column A and with a word in column B that has an opposite meaning. One is done for you. See off. See of means receive. Long is a short. Quiet, busy, heavy, light. And last one, pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, drop. Okay. <clears throat> the students now look at look at the screen. Another exercise for you. Number one, why did 
Sajjad come to the station? There are four options. He wanted to say bye to his friend. He would go to Dhaka. His sister was coming. He wanted to receive his friend. Try to guess the right answer. Okay. So why was the woman holding her child tightly? There was a crowd at the station. She wanted to keep her child safe. She loved to hold her child always. She was afraid of losing her child. Well, think about the answer. Why was the young lady sitting on the luggage and reading magazine? She enjoys reading a magazine sitting on a luggage. She was spending time and was waiting for her train. She has just get off from a train. She was waiting to buy a ticket. The last one. When the train whistled, Shadja friends picked his luggage. Why? He helped his friend. His friends came. He was going back home and he would get on the train. Next students, check your answers. Yes. Number one, C is the correct. He would go to Dhaka. Number two, B is correct. She was afraid of losing her child. Number three, B is correct. She was spending time and was waiting for her train. And number four, number four, A is correct. He helped his friend. Now, another exercise for you. Yes. Listen to me. Don't look to and fro. Look here. Drop. Long. Heavy. Busy. Receive. Quiet. Light. See. My mother came to me of a Dhaka airport. The airport was very dash. After getting on the airport, I found the place calm and okay. Though Dhaka to Chittagong is a dash distance, it took only half an hour. My aunt was waiting to dash me at Chittagong airport. I had my luggage with me. The luggage seemed to be very what? But the taxi driver lifted easily. It was just enough for him to carry. With a very short time, the taxi dash us. I enjoyed the journey very much. Okay, try to solve this problem. Now, check your answers. A is C. B busy. C quiet. D long. E receive. F heavy. D light. And H drop. The students. Now, I have an assessment for you. Only two easy questions here. How was the woman holding her child? Can you remember? Tightly, firmly, closely. Okay. Number two. How was the young people talking? How? Silently? Slowly? Quickly? Yes! Loudly. The students, I'm about to end this class. So, I'm giving you a homework. Please write up the notes for homework. And don't forget to do it at home. Be, be safe. Stay home and be safe. Thank you very much. Allah.